Hey everyone, I'm 32-Bit Bandit, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, so, at the moment we're doing the debt collector mission. So we're going to the little town of uh, Sami and talking to Duris to collect our debt from him, which is the debt we're owed from Marcos. So we also need to keep an eye out on the bounty hunter. Um, he's a lot more powerful than us, so if we get into a fight with him, he will win. And I'm just gonna <laughs> get myself lost Sam. here. Reese will be at his shop. Yeah, I know, Cass, but we'll find it. Okay, here we go. Hello, Luris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself, if he wants his money, huh? No, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. Double? That's robbery. <laughs> That's what I told Marcos. You know him, he's extreme. If you pay him, this will all be over with. You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to, to, to a mercenary or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. You're right about that. Forget the Drachmi. Marcos and I need to have a talk. You're letting me go? Then at least take this sword. Nothing special, but it's better than that rusty one you've got. With the Cyclops involved, I'll need it. You better set Marcos straight or you're both dead. Good day. Okay, so here's the blacksmith. Uh, so there's a whole range of weapons we can use. We're not going to buy any now because um, they're expensive for how much money we currently have. And we'll just use what we find from assassinated and dead enemies. Um, but I just wanted to look to show you the engrave. So here we have engrave. So if we wanted to, um, with the bandit sword, it will cost us 2 iron ore and 10 drachmi to engrave it. Now, we don't have... <laughs> now here um, would be a list of abilities that we can put on the weapon. We don't have any at the moment. As we do more through the game, you'll see new engravings unlocked. This is what we use the new engravings for. So that will make sense when you see, see them pop up. Um, but as I said before, we'll go into equipment more when it becomes a bit more relevant. And it's more Goodbye, than just then. two pieces of pretty poor equipment. Right, anyway, let's go and have a little chat with Marcos. Until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the Drachmi. Good. Or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. 
Ah, Cassandra, uh, I can tell from the smile on your face, Duris has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back, uh, can't we? I'm sure it's possible. We have no other choice now. We need a plan. That's what I do best. This will take more than the usual tricks up your sleeve. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand. Alexios! Don't see fishes like you every day, huh? Eh? <laughs> oh! Ha! You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Eh? Think about it. Kefalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. And look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets to a Mystheos with a Havel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you! How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Talking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can't. Why, I was just filling my friend Cassandra in on the details. She already has a plan to deal with these bandits. You know me. Always prepared. What did I tell you? She will leave no stone unturned. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits. Today. A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Cassandra, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. These balls will make me rich as Chrysos. They're that good, are they? War's brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to move off the Spartans. Everybody benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small-time shit. You'd make a fortune in this war. Plus, I hear you're a secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian.
Hand it over. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies! So there we go, new engraving unlocked. So in the top right, plus 2% hunter damage. So at the blacksmith that we saw before, that would now be something we can put on our items. Fair is fair. Are you going to get my wood? Those fucking bandits need a thrashing. Fair is fair. I'll fix your wood problem. Finally! Marco sure is lucky he's got you as a scapegoat. Any idea where these bandits are? I'm not a tracker, I'm a boyer. They're in the mountains somewhere, that much I know. I'd check close to the lumber camps. There's plenty of trees around. Why do you need this type of wood? I've been working on a new type of bow. It's more flexible, so it lasts longer and can fire at greater range. Only a very special kind of wood that grows high in the mountains will do. I'll take care of the bandits. Make sure that you do. And be quick about it. I'll deal with these bandits and get you the wood you need as fast as I can. Have patience. It won't take long. Ha! <laughs> if you knew how long Marcos has been feeding me excuses, you wouldn't be saying that. All right. I did something for you, now you do something for me. Get my wood! Okay. Um, so we've leveled up, so we've gained an ability. So I'm going to go through the abilities um, that we have available. Uh, leveling up. Earning XP ex um, increases your level and awards an ability point to spend on abilities. New abilities are progressively unlocked and can eventually be upgraded. So I'm going to go through all of these abilities now. I won't be doing anything else in the episode. This is where I'll be stopping. So if you don't want to go through all of this, then skip and you will miss nothing. But if you want to have a look at the abilities, then then stay with me. Okay. So Assassin. Um, actually, I tell you what, we'll go through the bottom abilities first. Hold on, Assassin. So Summon Phobos. Um, Hold down to summon Phobos. Call Phobos to your side or let him catch up to you while riding to auto mount. Uh, meditation. Rest to move time forward. The Eyes of Icaros. Uh, press up to control Icaros. Use Icaros to tag enemies or locate targets. Increase its accuracy by synchronizing viewpoints. So once we've uh, synchronized 25 more viewpoints, he will level up. And then he will start to be able to fight when we're... Um, while we're fighting multiple enemies, he'll harass one, and we can also use him to harass. Um, assassinations. Uh, leap of Faith. So falling causes damage, but is never fatal. So we might go down to a tiny amount of health, but we'll always have some health. When we get to level 20, this will automatically upgrade to not cause damage. And then the level 3 version lets us do a slam attack. Uh, whistle lets us get the attention of uh, nearby enemies. Uh, man at arms. Uh, equip a second weapon from the inventory uh, menu and swap between them at any time. So at the moment we can only hold one weapon. So if we have a look at uh, the inventory here. Here we have, so we have our weapon here and then here is a blank space. So once we have man at arms that space will open up. So we have to be level 15 for that. And then defensive maneuvers. Square to dodge and L1 and R1 to parry. Uh, perfectly timed dodges briefly slow time. After a parry, your next hit deals 50% increased damage. Okay, so assassin. Uh, revelation. Hold up to reveal secrets. Summon Athena's site to reveal all secrets, including chests and hidden passages in a radius of 15 meters. All nearby enemies are tagged. Venomous attacks. For 15 seconds, melee weapons and normal arrows inflict poison damage. When their poison meter is full, enemies become intoxicated. 
Intoxication inflicts damage over time and weakens the, da uh, weakens the damage and armor of the enemy. Shadow Assassin. So assassination and knockout damage is increased by 20%, automatically loot the enemy after an assassination. So this is one we're going to be taking early. We need uh, the bonuses to assassin damage so we can assassinate things in one hit. Rus uh, rush Assassination. Launch the Spear of Leonidas at a distance, uh, at distant enemy to deal 100% assassin damage up close. Can be chained one time. So with this one you can kill two people, um, but it uses uh, stamina. But yeah, th this will all make sense. This will all make more sense obviously as we play it. But this will show you what we have access to. So Poison Mastery. Uh, poison build up is increased by 25%. Vanish. Uh, with a burst of bright light, stun nearby targets for 6 seconds, attacking them will break the stun. So for these three, uh, required level 5. And then just quickly, um, call to arms, so summon a lieutenant to distract enemies for 30 seconds. Hero strike lets you do a an attack of 60% assassin damage. And critical assassination lets you do double assassin damage. Stealth master reduces the movement and assass uh, noise from movement and assassination move faster for five seconds so you slow time down for five seconds and when you kill an enemy they automatically disappear so they're level 16 abilities and then the level 23 ability is while out of conflict become as invisible as a shadow so they're the assassin thing so obviously the high level stuff we don't have to worry about now but it's nice to know what we're going to be aiming for so we'll go through the warrior ones quickly. Uh, charged heavy attack, so this lets you do a charge attack by holding R2. Uh, Sparta kick lets you <laughs> do the classic, this is Sparta, Sparta kick. Uh, bull rush, quickly rush through enemies, knock them down and deal 250% warrior damage. And then the level 5 abilities. Second wind, uh, refills 25% of max health. So that one we'll be getting as soon as we get to level 5. It's just so important. Uh, weapons Master, so increases warrior damage by 20%. Um, shield Breaker, uh, breaks small shields and deals 150% warrior damage. Flaming Attacks, conjure the uh, fires of Hephaestus. For 15 seconds, melee and normal arrows inflict fire damage. When the fire meter is full, enemies start burning. Burning inflicts damage over time. So we're going to go for Flaming Attacks, so we're not going to go for venomous attacks because we don't want venomous and poison um, so we're not going to be going for venomous simply because we're going to be going for flaming uh, gear master increases armor by 30 percent ring of chaos a sudden shocking blast stuns surrounding enemies within three meters and deals 150 percent warrior damage fury of the bloodline so these are the level 16 abilities Unleash a flurry of five attacks against a single enemy, each dealing 120% warrior damage. Generate three adrenaline segments. So that one is just crazy good. Um, overpower attacks. Massively powerful attacks that vary depending on weapon type. Requires three full adrenaline segments. And then fire mastery. Fire buildup is increased by 25%. And then the top worry ability. Battle cry of Ares. In a fit of godly rage, all attacks deal 20% more damage for 10 seconds. During this time, all enemy attacks are non-lethal, which is awesome. But there's a reason you have to be level 23 to get it. And then finally, Hunter. Predator Shot. Zoom to shoot an arrow that deals 430% Hunter damage and travels 25% further. Hold R2 to gain control of the arrow in the air instead of charging it. So you can shoot it and then you can move the arrow manually. Spread shot. Shoot a spread of three arrows at the same time uh, that each deal 100% hunter damage. Sixth sense. Time slows for up to five seconds when you're spotted by enemies. Aimed arrows lock onto the target's torso and deal 150% hunter damage. Then the level five ones, arrow master. So this lets you make uh, paralyzing arrows and then the next level you can make uh, fire, poisonous, and then the latest one you can make um, explosive arrows. So this one is another one we're going to get straight away, so when we get to level 6 we'll probably want to take this, simply because paralyzing arrows lets us knock enemies out, and you'll see why very shortly. Um, Multi-shot. Uh, target up to four enemies at the same time and shoot arrows that deal 150% hunter damage. 
devastating shot, so big powerful attack that does 290% hunter damage. Archery Master increases damage by 20%. Rain of Destruction, uh, Rain of Volley down in an area of 3 meters, dealing 300% hunter damage. Uh, Beast Master, tame wolves that have been knocked out, only one wild animal can be tamed at a time. And then level 16, continuously shoot arrows by holding R2. Overpower Bow Strike. Shoot a powerful charged arrow that deals 1000% hunter damage and uses 3 adrenaline segments. And then the top one, Ghost Arrows of Artemis. Shoot a ghostly arrow that can travel through shields, enemies and walls. Deals 260% hunter damage. So you're not set when you choose an ability you can respec. So if you look at the bottom right, it's faded out. Reset abilities for 265 drachmi. So we're not set in whatever we go for. So we are going to be trying a lot of different builds out. So for now, we're going to play safe and we're going to go for Predator Shot because it's just so good. Um, adrenaline. Many abilities are powered by adrenaline, which is built up by landing hits, successfully dodging or parrying enemy attacks and many more actions. When an ability is used, one adrenaline segment is spent and must be built up again. Okay, so we've gone for a predator shot this time. Uh, progress further in the story to upgrade it again. Um, so when we level up, we won't be able to improve that. We'll most likely go for Shadow Assassin. Um, it's just super solid. And then after that, we'll play around with stuff. So we'll have a go with Sparta Kick and Bulls Rush and um, Spread Shot, all this sort of stuff. Um, and if we find ourselves in a bit of a rut playing the same way and just doing the same thing every combat, we'll simply reset our abilities, try some new abilities out and keep going. We're also going to be playing a full balance of Hunter, Warrior and Assassin, so we can try and explore as much of the game as possible. Um, and the same with weapons, we're going to be using loads of different weapons and trying all of them out throughout the course of the game. Anyway, that was long and boring enough and if you're still listening then, well, fair play. Um, so thank you so much uh, for watching and I will see you very shortly on the next episode where we'll be doing more playing and not just talking through everything. Um, thank you again and I'll see you very shortly. Let's take